about you? Could you fight a man? Or do you think women can fight men? I think so, yeah. Because my... No, my, my aunt is like a third down in like that belt. And oh, like she got... Someone guys. took her bag before in Paris. And like she like ah! sidekick Sam chopped the guy. Okay, can you show me man. right yeah. now yeah, yeah. If you, uh, how you start my attack? Show for us. Go ahead, press. No, on camera. You, you, uh, a few moments later. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> Не провоцируй. Сука, ебана. Олег, уйди, уйди, уйди. Уйди оттуда. Не провоцируй. Я, блядь, говорил же тебе. That right there was like a magical reset button. A reincarnation. Because that lady got slapped into the state of shut the fuck up. She became a whole new person. And right after that, her attitude completely disappeared. This is a certified hood classic. You about to fuck, fuck to this day. To this day. Welcome to another episode of The Mysterious World of Feminism. I do agree that there is stigma that I have to deal with because I am fat. But I'm I'm actually really in celebration of my body. I I'm actually really in celebration of my body. I no, you're not. Say that. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. Stop. I find beauty and diversity. I think we come in all shapes and sizes. And the assumption that we've dealt with a lot on this show is that just because you're obese, you must overeat. You must have an eating disorder. I know that not to be the case. I know you can have a healthy... Now may we resurrect Mr. Kevin Samuels from the undead. And may he rise from his grave at the Undertaker, the Godfather, the Cream Gobbler Executionist. Your presence is very much missed. Now, may you please come down and bless us with the gospel. How much do you weigh? <laughs> That's none of your business. I told you I was fat. Oh, okay. The, the, we don't play that shit on my <laughs> show. <laughs> you get your big fat ass on somewhere. <laughs> I don't deal with you big sassy ass broads. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're five foot eight? I'm five foot eight. You're about the size of Emmett Smith or Barry Sanders was. You're a running back size. Okay. You can hit the A gap like a motherfucker. Yeah, all right. So don't that. come in here talk about what men should not be able to do when they got to accept uh, somebody who can run out the power eye. How to win an argument with a fat person. Step number one. Address the elephant in the room. It's funny because every woman is a feminist. Until she gets crushed by the fate of her own weights at the squat rack. When that lady attempted... <laughs> he needs some milk! <laughs> we now live in an era today where logic and facts are absolutely meaningless because it hurts your feelings. Unfortunately, due to the limitations of the feminist intelligence, they still think there is a wage gap. They don't like femininity. They don't like the female. It is terrorism against women. If they are not doing stupid things, then they are doing useless things somewhere else. Let's be fair, they are a bit different. <coughs> Ma'am, please. <coughs> they are literally everywhere. Movies, games, music, you name it. 
but it gets worse. It's not just flirting, just a hug, or just a joke. There is no excuse. This is sexual harassment. Sexual harassment. Sexist! Stupid! You're a white man! You're a man! Everything a man does is right! I'm triggered? I'm triggered! Meanwhile... And sexism doesn't come from women. So, of course, it's caused by men. This is a social construct. You don't think women can be sexist? I don't think that women can enforce uh, misogyny. What a like... load of nonsense. No, because it's all... You don't think any women can be women sexist? Don't... This woman literally just said sexism does not come from a woman. So it had to come from a man. That is the biggest steaming pile of giraffe shit. And this is literally the most sexist thing I've ever heard in my entire life. You see, feminists will make up any kind of bullshit. Feminists be like, God is sexist because he was a guy nailed onto a cross. This is transgender model Monroe Bergdorf. Earlier this week, a major makeup firm hired her as one of the faces of modern diversity for an advertising campaign. But just days later, she's been sacked by the firm for a now deleted Facebook post in the wake of white supremacist rallies in Charlottesville. This is why there's a problem, because you're taking it personally. There is a problem. I am taking it personally. It yes. Isn't about when you, you say all white people are racist, as a white person, uh, I find that speak. offensive. Please let me speak instead of speaking over The me. floor is yours. You believe that all white people have taken part in racial violence, which is what you wrote. I believe that society is built on the foundation. It's not what I believe, it's a fact that okay. society is built on the foundations of... of colonialism and slavery. To clarify, poor white people have a better chance in Britain of getting out of their poverty than, than poor black people? Yes. All of them? I feel like I'm up against the wall with you, Piers. No. She says she's backed up and against the wall. But in reality, she is just against the truth. And speaking of the truth, this is coming from a mixed race, transgender woman speaking on live national television. And that itself already counters all of her arguments. Hello? Yes? I am super non-conforming, sexual reverse trans optic gender. <laughs> And speaking of transgenders... Being brave is being yourself. And being transgender is it's about the bravest thing you can do. Why are we mainstreaming delusion? Why are we mainstreaming delusion? Uh, it's not delusion. Why, why would delusion. you call it delusion? Because Bruce Caitlyn Jenner, I'll call him Caitlyn Jenner. No, because it's that's her. Gonna... You're not being polite to the pronoun. Because Disrespect. It, okay, forget about the disrespect. Facts don't care about your feelings. It turns out that every chromosome, every cell in Caitlyn Jenner's body is male with the exception of some of his sperm cells. You it turns out that he's male. Wait, I need it to. It turns out that he still has all of his male appendages. But How he feels on the inside is relevant but to the question of his biological sex. Uh, yeah, chromosomes don't necessarily mean you're male or female. Gender. But, but even so, you have a thing like Kleinfelter's syndrome. So you don't know what you're talking about. You're not educated on genetics. Would you like to discuss the genetics? Or well, well, no, what no. What are your genetics? I, I, so I'd stay away from the genetics and back to the brain scans. You cut that out now or you'll go home in an ambulance. Yeah, that seems mildly inappropriate for a political discussion. Cut that out now, or you'll go home in an ambulance. If he responded back with, that wasn't very ladylike of you, I would have fucking lost my shit. Because nowadays, the world is no longer a clown show. It is a whole fucking circus. You said whites are the most violent and oppressive people. Well, yeah. Well, that's what you said in your film. And if you're going to go back so that to would seem to me that statistics point that out too. Well, the Chinese were massacring Chinese and other races long before they'd ever met a white person. Attila the Hun wasn't white. It's the same in the subcontinent if you go back hundreds of years as well. The genocide in Rwanda was yeah. black on black. So is the so the is the Congo. Uh, which is the rape capital of the world. When it comes to education, this, this, the whole system needs to change. But well, let, let me look at education. Sorry. Let's look at the figures on education. 33% of white kids go to university or further education. 37% mm -hmm. of black kids go to university mm -hmm. or further education. 67% of Indian kids go to university or further education. 
76% of Chinese kids go to university for further education. But wait, there's more. You don't uphold the patriarchy, Piers. That is uphold not the, the case. Uphold the what? The patriarchy. What's that? You don't know what the patriarchy is. I do, but explain it. The patriarchy is basically a structure that puts men at the top of power. Mm. So... If I just love the fact that this donkey calls out the patriarchy being empowered by males when her whole fucking country was run and ruled by a queen. The queen is probably somewhere in heaven punching the air right now. How bloody fucking that dare is stupid. you! stupid. There's a saying that it is difficult, not easy, to win an argument against an intelligent person, but it is nearly impossible to win an argument against a freaking idiot. I don't even like Piers Morgan, but damn it, did he extrapolate and dismantled her argument in a very professional manner. Look, I've seen a Hi, lot of- thank you so much for having me. I've seen a lot of your clips and I can't help but think whether you actually mean half the things that you say and whether you're just trying to get attention. <laughs> Do you actually believe in what you say or are you just, just trying to stir the pot? Well, a lot of people have that reaction. A lot of people have that question. Um, I don't know why it What's should be answer? weird that a... I don't know why it should be weird that a gay guy would be skeptical or fearful of Islam. I don't see, see anything strange about a gay person liking the Bible and liking the First Amendment and liking low taxes. I don't find anything odd about me, really. Um, in order to find me peculiar or strange, or in order to think that perhaps I'm putting it on, you have to sign up to this idea of identity politics, which suggests that just because somebody is black or gay or a woman, they have to have particular political or ideological positions. I reject that idea. Well, um, I, I like don't that care my, whether you're gay or whatever. I'm just saying, you know, some of the things are just so outrageous and the way you put them, I think, is he like a, a real life Borat that's just out there to make fun of everyone and well, what, and What and do you think is outrageous? What do you think that I've said is outrageous? Well, Give me something and perhaps culture, I can explain it for you've you. You've called rape culture a fantasy. You've likened feminism to cancer. You've said that women on the pill don't look Both right, them. they don't talk right, but you suggest that well, we all don't. those things are true. Okay, you said that <laughs> all you those say... things are true. Do you really rape believe Rape culture on American college campuses, uh, you know, to say that there is a rape culture implies that there is a system or an environment which encourages rape. That doesn't exist on American college campuses. And just to believe in the statistics that feminists peddle, that's one in four, one in five women is going to be sexually assaulted, in her time on campus, you'd have to believe that American college campuses have rape rates that approach those of the Congo, where rape is used as a weapon of war. We don't reward rapists in our society. We put them in prison. On the feminism question, women agree with me. Four-fifths of American women do not describe themselves as feminists, and just 7% of British women describe themselves okay. as feminists. I would imagine that Australia, being a very sensible country, would share those views too. It's only journalists who insist on political positions yes, and insist on feminism I, in public. I've Actual heard you people say at that. home I've agree with me. With almost every interview that I saw you, you do. Um, but on well, your statement... Then you should ask different questions, <laughs> I've been studying and analyzing feminism for a very long time. And what I learned is that feminism, it is not about equality. It is not about women's rights, but it is about leverage. Because if you can ask any woman, do they want equality? love or power and they will simply reply back with could it be because women <laughs> use sex to get power some of them yes yeah are women more interested in love or power depends on the person are men more likely to use power to get sex or are women more likely to use sex to get power sex to get power do you think women are more interested in love or power Power. Really? Now, if we dive deeper and look at the history of the womanist movement, feminism in the early 1980s was about women wanting the same rights as men. And that I can fully support and respect. I was a feminist when feminism was about equality, about leveling the playing field, giving women an opportunity to find their rightful place, particularly in the public world, which was tremendously important and exciting when we achieved that. Feminism in the early 2000s was about women are better than men. But what feminism, feminism today, to me, is all about advantaging women at the expense of men. 
and it's become very much caught up in the demonization of males, presenting them always at a disadvantage. And I don't want to have any part of that. I was writing recently about boys' education, which is, which is something I've written about for many decades. And I, I came across an article I wrote 40 years ago where we just started to notice how badly boys were doing vis-a-vis -vis girls. I mean, we'd had 10 years of programs trying to help girls do better in the schools, which was fantastic. And, and a lot of girls who had been held back by traditional assumptions about, you know, girls not speaking up and girls not doing well in maths were now beginning to shine, which was a fantastic thing. But what was becoming very obvious is there were also a lot of boys falling behind and not achieving their potential. We have really very much feminist ideology infiltrating all our education systems, systematic programs to continue to advantage girls, and no one taking any notice of the fact that boys are f falling out in huge numbers. Feminism present day is about women wanting to be men. Men ain't shit. Men ain't shit. Women are better than men. A life without children is, is vapious and it's inane and it's pointless. And you may sit here and think that your career matters, but the truth is that your job will fire you out of women and not give That's a second, right. don't give a solitary That's shit. So and when you're 52 and you're past it with no grandchildren in a house by yourself and all your friends have grandchildren in this beautiful life and you're sitting there by yourself, do you think the fact that you can afford a few extra Gucci bags is gonna genuinely make you feel happy? I was at my grandmother's 93rd birthday. I looked there, my grandmother had nine children because there was my father and and eight more they all had a bunch of kids blah 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 i stood there and I looked at my 93 year old grandmother and there was a room a whole room full with maybe 70 people that came from that one woman isn't that remarkable yeah, that man. nobody cared about her career nobody asked what job she did nobody asked how many times she went to the club nobody asked if she had, had time to go to festivals no you had 70 sentient beings including myself Full of life from one woman who dedicated herself to being a mother and, and, and a good and a good wife. That is beautiful. And if you sit here and genuinely think that you're gonna work your ass off through your fertile years and by the age of 54, you're not gonna be suicidal alone with a cat, then you're dumb. <laughs> but the that, happiest really women on this. earth have children and a man who's paying the bills and their mothers. That's the happiest true. people on earth. I guarantee it. Your this your mothers, true. ask your own mother, do you nah. regret having me? She's Literally. gonna say, of course not. not. You're the nope. best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> so now you're gonna sit here and you're gonna end your own bloodline? All your ancestors were out there surrounded by saber-toothed fucking tigers <laughs> trying to survive on the streets out there in caveman days just to get to the final end where we have all the medical care and you can live in a nice warm house for your fucking selfish ass to say, no, I don't want kids. I'm too busy in the fucking strip club or going to fucking oh, Mallorca no. to, have a fucking, <laughs> to have a pina colada on the beach. It's absolutely insulting to your entire bloodline. Everything everyone above you has ever done and struggled for. All the times your grandparents went to work when they didn't feel like it, just for you to exist, for your selfish ass to say no. Me and my passions and my dreams and my shit drawings and my Instagram page <laughs> is worth more than ever having children. You're a selfish fuck. Fuck that, you should all have kids. Andrew Tate did a spectacular job breaking that down. Now fellas, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Breaking news! Ladies, if you're self-conscious about your breast size, remember this. In my opinion, the best boobs are the ones I'm allowed to put in my mouth. More attack. <laughs>